You want to know something amazing, but often overlooked about manifestation, the compound effect. Now, the compound effect, in short, is the idea of small but consistent increments yield massive results in the long run. Manifestation is exactly that way. Think about it. We all look at the 3D. Whether we mean to or not, that's how we live. We use this 3D to justify how we think and feel. And if we're trying to manifest something, we then go, actually, no, I don't want that to be my justification because insert end result is, and we start thinking and feeling that way. Now, when your 3D reality starts presenting good things, we notice it, we become aware of it. And quite often, we then snowball that thing. Because we become aware of this good thing, it creates the impression of this good thing, which creates more of that good thing, which creates more of that good thing. And before we know it, these tiny little good things that we got day by day, six months from now, are massive full-blown commitments or full-blown job roles or full-blown whatever it is that you want. So the amazing thing about manifestation is even by becoming 1% better every single day, your reality will make massive leaps because your reality will become 1% better. And you'll notice that 1% better, which helps you impress. And because you became 1% better and you're aware of your reality becoming 1% better, that's now 2% better and 3% better and 4% better until before you know it, you are living a full-blown manifestation success. There's a client who emailed me a couple of days ago who I've spoken to them a lot over the period of time. They're not my current client, but they're still a friend that likes to pop up and give me updates. And when we first started, it was... I can't even, you know, I can't even get a text from this person. And now they're getting consistent communication because they decided it. And when this person isn't showing up how they want them to, they're not letting it get to them. So their progress has come on leaps and bounds. But at the beginning of it, maybe they never thought it would. But by making those small little, I'm going to deal with this spiral just that little bit better today. I'm going to put a little bit more effort into feeling these affirmations. I'm going to put a little bit more effort into taking time to do my affirmations. I'm going to go to sleep earlier tonight so I can spend more time in my visual scene. Little changes to their process, but those 1% betters every day made it that nine months later, just under a year later, they're, you know, 270 to 365% better. And their 3D is completely theirs to control and they have so much confidence. You can have that too. They are no different to you, except the fact that they're just a little bit further ahead in their journey. That's all. But how do we make those small little changes so that they can compound? Well, it takes an awareness. One thing that I used to do, not so much anymore because I don't necessarily need it, but one thing that I used to do was I used to fill out my own daily manifestation planner. If you want that planner, it is available on my membership as a free bonus item. So I recommend you check it out. But on it, it has a section where you can basically keep record of what you did well, what you didn't do so well, and how you can make improvements. Now, I used to fill this out every single day. Oh, I noticed that at about lunchtime, I sat in this very anxious, uncomfortable space due to fear of not getting my desire or due to fear of some circumstance or some thoughts or something. Okay, did I do anything about it? I kind of just let it sit for a minute and then I thought actually enough is enough. So I then did something to get myself out of it. Okay, great. What could I do to improve that tomorrow? If at that exact same time, that exact same thing comes up, Will I handle it the same way I did today? If yes, I've not gone anywhere. I've not improved and I can't expect anything better than I've been getting. If no, okay, great. What could I do better? Well, I realized that I didn't get myself out of it due to laziness. I just couldn't be bothered. It felt difficult to just do some breath work. So I didn't bother to do it. Okay, does the outcome I desire actualizing mean more to me than the five minutes of being a lazy prick does. (laughs) Yes, of course. Okay, so tomorrow, when it happens again, I'm going to bring myself out of that state sooner by doing the work to do so sooner. 
Then that day comes around, happens again. I put in the work. At the end of the day, I fill out the planner. What went bad today? That 12 o'clock shadow. I had a little bit of like, a, oh, at about lunchtime. Did I bring myself out of it sooner than yesterday? Yes, I did actually. Wasn't by much sooner, but I did because I put in the work sooner. Great. I have improved. I am 1% better than I was yesterday, which means my reality tomorrow will be 1% better than it was today. Or whenever the, you know, the reality starts to shift will be 1% better than it was today. Now, if I do the same thing the day after and become 1% better, that's going to be another 1% and then another 1% and so on and so forth. And by holding myself accountable, by actually marking out where I went wrong, what about it went wrong and what I could do to improve the next time it happens. I was then there with like what I mentioned earlier on in this week, the backup plan. I was then there with a way to help myself overcome it sooner, better, more effectively. So that day by day by day by day, my manifestation process got better and better and better and better. And that's why now I sit here and be like, yeah, you can just affirm a few times and have an outcome because I have so little opposition to my thoughts because I know how to handle it if it ever comes up, because I know what works, because I've done the 365% improvement, because I've been doing this day after day after day after day, year after year, every single day, finding ways to improve every single way, finding day, finding ways to spiral less, to come out those spirals better to feel my affirmations more, to feel my visualizations more, to keep my mental diet under control more. That is how you become better at manifestation. That is how you become better at self-improvement, manifestation, going to the gym, doing anything that you desire to improve on. It takes understanding where you're going wrong and why. In the comment section, you hear so many things like, this thing keeps happening. I keep spiraling. I keep doubting. I keep fearing. But that's usually where it ends. There's no, this is why and this is how I want to improve on it. Does anybody have any other suggestions? It's just, this is my problem. We're all so soaked up on the problem that we don't actually know what we need to do when it keeps coming up. And then it comes up and then we go, I don't know what to do. And that's when we stay where we are. If you do what you have always done, you will get what you have always gotten. Whereas if you can make those little improvements day by day by day, you show up for yourself because you're the only person that is going to be there with you day after day after day. I'll be there day after day after day when we're working together, but I won't be there forever. These YouTubers that you watch won't be there forever. Your best friend may not be there on a day when you really need them because they've got their own shit going on. Your parents, they won't be there forever. Your kids are going to have their own things where they're too busy to be there for you forever. The only thing, or sorry, the only one that you have that is there day after day after day is yourself. So make sure that when you are stuck with just you and no one else is there to help, you know what you need to do. You know what changes need to be made. Because when you can start trusting yourself, when you can start relying on yourself and you can start believing in yourself, that is when this planet will shift any which way you need. That is when hell will freeze over and the gates of heaven will open. Mountains will move. Cthulhu will cower away from you and you will be the god of your reality or the goddess of your reality. But it takes those small daily increments of improvement. We've all got to start somewhere. And yes, your manifestation can come instantly. That massive success could come tomorrow. It could come the day after. I will never deny that. But what I can say is if you do make those small daily increments, you will get your success way sooner than you probably expect. Because it compounds. 1%, 2%, 4%, 6%, 12%, 24%. 24%. There was no congruity to those. I do know my maths. I know that they didn't all double. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It will improve and you will succeed. But thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, drop me a like and a comment to let me know. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and be sure to click that bell icon. Most of the people that watch my content aren't actually uh, subscribed. So make sure you do that. 
And if you do need any one-to-one -one help and if you're genuinely serious about manifesting your desires, down below in the description and the comment section is the links to my website where I, forgot, where I can offer one-to-one -one assistance with your situation or the membership where you can get exclusive videos, free bonus worksheets, the planner that I mentioned. Um, if you're on a gold member, you get a 10 minute call with me as a free bonus and the um, two days manifestation service assistance with me as a free bonus. So if you're genuinely serious, check those two sets of links out and I will see you lovely people in the next one. Bye-bye.